it's the start of the beautiful day again but you can see the dark clouds glooming on the sky it might be sunny here as you can see that it's it's really hot but I know it's gonna rain like yesterday it just suddenly rain in the afternoon it's now 7 30 in the morning August 27 2020 here in Cebu Philippines so I'm going now to the work site and so when I say about up at 6 a.m. is up from bed but I be up on site at 7 30 so that's what I mean because someone like noticed I have um, say it wrongly but that's what I mean Gary Mayton and also less grisly greely I will tell you the um, spent so far on the fencing project as of date because I want to include the plan delivery yesterday so I have to go now and instruct my workers before 8 o'clock so the, they have been picking some guyabano fruit and bananas so the, it's not 8 o'clock yet so they're just having their desserts but they're getting ready here so I, so we're just cleaning the multi cup now because it was so muddy yesterday when we were doing the pour because we're going to home builders to pick up the tiles of old B for his bar we are now on our way to Cebu home and builders I will be picking up the tiles for the bar of Old B and 10 bags of tile adhesive because that will be reserved when it's rainy season. Janelle can install it in Old B's bar. While if it's not raining, we will be continuing work in the open field in the village park. So you can see, I hope it's going to be a nice day. The sun is shining up, but the threat of a rain is still there it's still dark up ahead so it's not gonna be we will be complacent about being sunny all day so we are following here uh, electric contractor with all their equipments on board but we noticed that traffic again has becoming slower and slower now as a lot of people are going out and I also a lot of buses are now it, uh, doing the route of the jeepneys in fact it seems like loads of buses now than it used to be like when it started before like um, the jeepneys are completely stopped you can see that the blue buses and the white buses the beeps are also in competition with the series buses so the commuters have a lot of choice now I'm here right now picking up in the bodega which is the storeroom for Cebu home and builders because I'm picking up the tiles for old base bar and you can see they're set up here how <laughs> just clump in together but they have a big storeroom here on the back than the, what they have here on Consolacion like you can see here there's a shipment of all the hardy plex board s4 s wood and sinks i think you can see this is a housing project and it's geared up to be shipped to Leyte What I'm looking here is um, C4 lens, but it's thicker. It's 1.5 mm. So I can see it's really thick, but it's 2 by 4 with 10 3 foot length. It's thicker than the, the normal schedule that I buy in 
the hardwares, the local hardwares. So 1.5 in thickness, and you got no. So you can see it's quite thick. And this is like 610 each. This is the Bodega One of Cebu Home and Builders. This is where they place all their like stocks that are up, face out. Some are slightly damaged. Some is like the numbers are lesser. But like this one, they also have some tiles that's not really popular and they have loads coming. This is where they put it. So this is ideal for all your, if you have small room projects, like you want to tile like only a small room because you cannot expect it if you're in a uh, have a spacious room so the tiles won't be enough because most of the stocks here are starting from 30% off to 50% off so you can see that you can buy toilets sinks tiles and even just parts of your fittings like these bathtubs here they're just a simple fiberglass bathtubs and but you have to buy all the fittings and all that that's 7,400 each so like 30% off from the one on the inside the shop of home builders and you got all the different parts soap holder tissue holder all in dirt cheaper a lot cheaper than the one inside the actual shop of Cebu home now you got all the sinks tiles and toilets and they vary in prices but the minimum that discount that they start here is 30% off from the original price up to 70% off so like all these tiles here they come in different colors and it's only 6 pesos and 50 cents those are the tiles that's available here they usually have it in display on the front so look at the pattern that's the one I mean six pesos and 50 cents but this is 20 centimeters by 20 centimeters tiles then you got the wall tiles 24 and up to the bigger one which is like the 105 that's 50 percent off from the retail on the floor of the actual shop so as you know in places like this you have to chance it chance that they still have the st stocks of the one that you choose or lesser so this one like 46 pesos 46 they're 21 pesos and they have here other items but you can see here they have all the toilets that's 2700 for that 2700 but it depends on the brand and also the size of the toilets so it's not well priced as you can see but when you come here I'm just giving you idea of like small room projects like look at that sink with pedestal 650 pesos you know it's not as clean as it is in the shops but this is the bodega which is a uh, Spanish word for storerooms but this is where you find if you have budget price project
so like small rooms or like you don't want to spend so much on that like if I'm gonna be doing the like a budget bungalow this is if I was allowed to come here before during the pandemic this is where I'm gonna buy the toilets or the thing for the budget bungalow but I only buy it, buy it in our local shops because that was the pandemic when I was building the bungalow so I can't buy so much around here which is I know it's gonna be more cheaper <coughs> so you see this is how it arrives all the stuff from the inside which is the one that from the big shop because you see this is Cebu home builders bodega area and that's what they sell on 30% up look for bodega for bodega so they're still gonna have loads of prices I mean low price tiles for sale here but they haven't displayed it and they're all the broken broken granites like slightly damaged granites if you have small areas to granite and then all the chip shira boards cement board that are slightly damaged So that is my tiles, um, 120 pieces, 60 by 60. Next will be the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two. Okay. We pick up our tiles, so we just head home because they still don't have the tile adhesive that we ordered. It's still be coming this afternoon. So we just decided to go home with the tiles first and then just go back and pick up the tile adhesive later this afternoon as well so we passed it this way on the back roads of Talamban uh, it's always oh. S -O -S -O -S. this is the SOS road we call it because the charity organization SOS is located around this area so they just named the road after it SOS back road we are here in our local Gemini station they have their water refilling station they have their hardware and of course they have their petrol station so we're having the premium and their premium here is 49.75 per liter we are on our way to the budget bungalow because we will be installing the windows today you can see that the gray clouds is is lurking on the horizon so it's gonna be raining so you know after we pick up the tile adhesive we'll be installing the windows so this is how it looks here so you see that that will be just the leaning point for their stuff nay magbutang mi sa bintana nay so here they can see that 
really continue to level the road so it's not so bumpy and it's not so dirty looking so he is now on this side so you can see that it needs to be built up here because it's really short on the side of the bungalow This is how it looks like on here. It is really low. Magtawad Miss Bintana, Tay. Not eating that food. So, you can see how short it is on compared to the other side. So, it has to be built up. Now you can see why they have to they can put it if it's too short to see on the side but if we build it up it will be hidden all this dump that they had on the other side of the wall So, Nanay Pipi is now walking around by herself. Makalakaw naman yung kanay, no? Lahi ragyod siya na yun. Magsungkot pag yapon ka. But he needs to have this stick to walk around. But it's a big improvement than the last time I saw her. She really can walk by herself then. May na lang na yun. Lahi ragyod sa una na yun. Ayan. Ik hag bayra um, ikaw pa masunod so, so we need to trim the wood that we have to put on top and bottom about one fourth inch because it will not it will not be fitting the whole window size so we'll just um, do a sample and then we'll do this on the work area up there because there's so many kids going around around here but just passing through here in the workplace okay now Some. so it starts drizzling again so early this time so here we're gonna see what they have done. Mura siyag mubuka dari da pita. Nya, ang diha, og diha. Duharam ni kapile, there's only two piles here. 500, og diha. Tiltilo na siya diha para makonekta sa kolom. Nya, 500 din na. Diri, gikan diri. Oo. Murag dako, Raman. Raman. It's na tunga po na. Duhara ka pail, Tray? Yeah. Oo. Gatir-gatir. Murag, kita ka nang sa daan gali. Nga. Hang on. We were just discussing what is the... Ayaw, diha, diri. Diri, 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 kas tunga. So, they have to measure here in the middle. Diri sa tunga. Gikan sa tungaan ng kabilya. Padong diri. Kabilya iko? Oo. Oo. Lagi diya sa kilid mag-agi. Oo. Lagi hindi ha. Mag-agi yun ay aning kuwan. Lagi sa tunga sa lublak. Lagi sa lublak. 
So it will be just passing through the back of the hollow block. Bisag dere, dere ko no. Yung murag magdako mangud ni siya. How about trying to measure it here? Kaya tay. Abot gapon. Yeah, good hello block. Ang 5 meters. Ah, sige. Kani lagi ang dire. 500. Sunda dito, gikan dito, 500. Mo to mag-ana siya mag follow the curve I was telling him. And then so we can get the 5 meters wide. Okay, 500 mo man 5 meters. So it starts raining early. Mo ni yung buhusan mo. Asa to imong gihimo nga gamay mo na nasumpay dito tay? Oh. Oh, delish. Wa ko mag Wa pa ni model ha. Aw. Tay din man to. So I said, kuangan pa na dito gamay padung dito. Tungalan. So the one that he's making up there is the tay beam here. Because if you can see they have taken out the forms that they have poured yesterday on for the top beams. And then we will be pouring the column, the small one, that shapes like to square it up. So he also put a tie beam here. So these are the tie beam that they have, I mean top beam that they have done yesterday. One, two, three, four on the step and then we will be doing the column on the side separately so we can square it up properly and so you can see old Lito here is doing the last one here before we build up there on the side for another four, four lines of pile before we put the tie beam that will be shaped up again so they will pour that one and also the next sloping curb so this will just be like two files to serve as curb for the road. So here you can see that they have poured this trench and they will be extending half of it towards down there. Oh, and you can see the road is now start to get clean as farmer Willie here keeps cleaning it up.